we either got good news or bad news depending on how you look at this whole situation regarding Supergirl. It's quite obvious they are casting the character to appear in Superman Legacy, and according to other reports, the film will start production later this year as well. So let's talk about one actress who no longer wants the role and she refused to screen test and possibly why she did. Shout out to Lara Fan over on DeviantArt who had this concept art of her, which honestly I think looks great and gives you an idea of the actress if she was in this costume. But unfortunately, if this gets you excited, well, there's the bad news that we're going to talk about. We just recently reported that Amelia Jones was one of the three frontrunners for the role of Supergirl. And we just got the major update that this Monday, they were officially down to the finalists and doing screen tests. Now, screen tests typically will involve the actress coming in, putting on the suit, usually one worn by a previous actor that's worn the suit. It could be the classic, the most recent, whatever. And they do their best to sell the director and the casting managers and all that on why they should be the one to get the job. Well, according to Jeff Snyder, he reported on the Hot Mike show that he heard that she refused to do this. She refused to go to the audition. She didn't want to do it and has simply dropped out of the role and is no longer interested in playing Supergirl. Now, there's already discussion as to why she could have done this. And I'll be real with you guys. Whoever gets this role is going to get paid nothing. They are going to get paid peanuts. And think about it this way. Robert Pattinson for the Batman was paid nothing compared to other actors in DC roles. Henry Cavill was asking for upwards of 15 to 20 million per appearance. Ben Affleck was making more than 10 to 15 million. Pattinson was reportedly paid in the end $3 million for that film. And from what we understand, the budget of these films and why they're going after almost not household name stars is because they want to lock them in for cheap. The same thing that Marvel Studios did initially. And if you guys remember, the likes of Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, and others were paid about 150 to 200,000 for their first handful of appearances. Chances are they're taking the same approach and actors will turn it down just by the sheer fact that they're going to work for a few years till they finally make decent money on these films so i get it and it makes sense that many actors are going to turn it down while some will look at it as a growth opportunity so we'll see what happens it's a little unfortunate i thought she looked great in terms of her appearance and could have been a great supergirl but i guess we're just gonna have to wait for one of the other two finalists 